Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Today's episode features Utah running back Devontae Booker and two plays. And every play, in my opinion, involves some level of skill and luck. This particular episode is going to look at two plays where I think that there's a little bit more extreme examples of how skill is in one outcome and luck is a little bit more involved in the other. So let's look at this first play. This is the skill play. Okay, we're looking at a two by two receiver set with the running back and a pistol directly behind the quarterback facing Cal's nickel defense here with a traditional six in the box. Um, you've got the middle line, you got the two linebackers crowding the guards in terms of their spacing over top. We're going to watch this play unfold. As we see right away, we've got this backside tackle working across to the the outside we have a double team of the guard and tackle on the right and the center working up the middle Booker is looking at this outside area as he takes his exchange and cuts downhill and shows enough quickness to get right past this backside defensive tackle working on the line and gets to the line of scrimmage and this is where I really like his burst and then you're going to see that some of the control that he has over his footwork because he could continue heading straight and maybe beat this defender this linebacker at the right he may also get a few more yards before this safety is able to shed the center and be able to make the tackle here but what he opts to do is to speed in front of his backside tackle make a nifty cut back and weave in between the tackle and the safety. Nice cut back there. Still has control. Then we're going to watch him make a second cut, beat that pursuit, and squeeze right inside of his slot receiver. His leg bounces a little bit off the back, but he still keeps his balance. Then he's able to drag the defenders for probably another six or seven yards here. 18 yard gain. So we're going to watch it one more time. See the cut downhill, and you're going to see him weave between number 70 and this defender, this defender and blocker in the middle here. Nice little cut back. Then we're going to watch the second cut where he beats this safety coming down the right hash. Nice little cut back there. All done with a nice amount of speed and control. So one thing that we know about Booker right away is that he has pretty good agility, he's got good burst, and he can operate on the move pretty well to weave in and out. Now these are pretty wide lanes. I mean, these are kind of punt returner-like lanes if you really think about what we're looking at. In the NFL, this is kind of a punt return size type of lane. This is a pretty big hole from an NFL standpoint. And to be able to do this, it's nice, it's NFL worthy, it's not amazing, but it's good work, and it's skillful. So let's go ahead and move on to the play that I think has a little bit more luck involved. And It's a big play, it's probably one you're going to see a lot on highlights when it comes to Devontae Booker, when they talk about how good he is, especially on draft day when he gets selected. You're probably going to see this cow play. Nice job popping up through the, through the morass at the line of scrimmage, getting up the sideline and scoring. We're going to watch it from another angle here. And then we'll talk about it a little bit more. But here you go. You see him making a nice little dip, working through the mess, getting outside. Nice stuff. But let's talk about really what happens on this play in terms of what skill and what's luck. We see a double team working here. You got your backside tackle once again on what's more of an outside zone play. And Booker is looking, originally he's looking towards this double team gap on this side. But he sees that the penetration from the defensive tackle is going to close this off, it's going to shut it off a little bit. And then also he sees the penetration 
towards that gap a little bit early. So you're seeing the back who is anticipating pretty well what's happening at the line of scrimmage and even at the second level. He sees pretty clearly that he's not going to hit the gap that's intended here, so it's time to cut back. That's skill. That's good work right there, not taking anything away from Booker. You like the fact that he can re make some of these reads. Where the Lux involved is in this next sequence. And skill gives you opportunities for luck. So the skill part is that he can make this cut back, makes that nice little hot jump cut hop to avoid the penetration into the crease by the linebacker. And then he lowers his pads. And you always want to see good pad level to try and finish the run because probably eight times out of ten, at, at this, even at this level, you're going to get tackled at the line of scrimmage right here. But because he's able to get under and this defensive tackle is unable to make the reach and, and hold on, Booker emerges from that crease. Usually you're not going to be able to emerge from that even if the defender's not able to reach here. Because the defender's usually going to have enough position that Booker's not going to be able to duck under this. But he does a nice job of being able to squeeze through. And once he does, we've got a block here, we've got a block here, and we're eventually going to have a block at the top of the screen by the receiver. Or at least you're going to have a, a bit of a shield there. And at this point, this is all about speed. And Booker definitely shows some nice speed here. And this cornerback getting blocked or at least shielded by the receiver at the 30. And at this stage, it looks like that the cornerback has the angle on Booker. And he does, but you have to remember a couple of things here. Booker's had probably about a 10 to 15 yard head start of acceleration. Okay, so this is the point where I would say Booker's getting a chance to accelerate. This, this cornerback is just trying to disengage from the receiver. So Booker's got about a five yard yeah, I would say probably about a five-yard head start. That's that's not as bad as what I thought. It's a five-yard head start to work downfield. And he shows enough acceleration to just beat the corner back to the 10. So it's, a, it's still impressive speed. But if you're going to say that, oh, he beats all cornerbacks or all defensive backs with his acceleration based on a run like this, you would be mistaken. It's good acceleration. I'm not sure it's special. Um, but he does a nice job there. And then really good job keeping his balance so that he can score on the play. So again, we'll look at it from this angle and you'll see. Skill, you know, good technique, good preparation. You know, preparation generates luck. That's how I look at this play. Good cutback. Squeezes underneath. Again, most times... You're going to have this defensive tackle able to disengage. More times in the NFL, you're going to have this backside pursuit be able to make the wrap. Either of those things happen. And when those things don't happen, he's got this entire right flat to accelerate and win. It's a really good play from, from Booker, but it's also a lucky play. He, you know, I would have. Get, this is why a lot of times when you've seen, like, say, my Peyton Barber example, of what he's done that a lot of times plays with long gorgeous runs like this you know you take those out and you want to see if he did the right things and early on he did the right things and that's really what you're looking for to, to me what I'm looking for is I mean you can you can find out about speed in the combine you can find out about quickness in the combine what I want to know is does he see what he's supposed to see? Does he make the right kind of moves with good technique? Does he finish plays with good pad level? Because that's that's really the play right here. To me, I would have been happy just to see this, and if he only got back to the line of scrimmage on this play, I would have said he has good he has good anticipation at the line of scrimmage. He understands how to cut back he knows how to finish and he took the mature route to try and just get back to the line of scrimmage the rest of this 
is gravy. And yes, speed, you know, you love the fact that the speed is going to help out, but again, the rest is gravy. Fun gravy, though. Everyone likes gravy. Thanks again for watching. I'm Matt Walton with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. You can find more of my work at www.mattwaltmanrsp.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel, The RSP Film Room.